Here's my router. It's a three and a quarter horsepower King plunge router. Uh, it's got the variable speed thing on it. I bought one of these phenolic plates, screwed the router to it. I took off the router's original base and uh, uh, just centered it, drilled four holes. These plates come out, the red plate or the yellow plate too, depending on the size of the bit that you're using. The router, I had to uh, drill a ledge all the way around the uh, my tabletop, you see, and in each corner there's a rare earth magnet. In each corner, so you can see it sunk in there. It's a rare earth magnet, and the adjusters in each corner of the plate sit on that magnet, you see, and that lets me adjust them, uh, adjust the height. So you just stick an Allen key in there, and you turn it left to right, and you can get it perfectly so that it doesn't. Uh, things don't catch as you slide them across the, the corner, you see. I bought these tracks from Lee Valley, these uh, aluminum T-tracks. Some back there with those uh, nuts that go in. They can't come out, trap nuts I guess they call them. And the uh, miter thing goes in here like this. Slide that back and forth. So here it is with the, uh, with the fence on. As you can see, uh, I got these things from Lee Valley, you tighten it down, loosen it up on each side, and you can slide the whole thing back and forth on the uh, on the table. It's got a, a thing to shove the uh, shop vac nozzle into, and it's also got an adjustable mount on the front. You see, I can slide these things open or closed, then I can lock them in place with these uh, nuts on the back, you see. The table is made out of plywood with a, uh, uh, a thick maple edging all the way around it and uh, I cover the top in uh, formica or arborite, whatever they call it. Put a little drawer here for my bits. The top part comes off so I can throw it in the trunk of the car and the bottom part uh, is just a, a box with wheels so I can, I can wheel it around the basement and it's got locking uh, locking wheels on the locking feet. I'm going to eventually put a switch on it so I'll be able to plug the uh, router in and the shop back into the same plug so when I turn the switch on the router and the shop back go on at the same